Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Jules Games 10 Mushroom House Tutorial Part 2. This will be the inside decorations of the house. That's what we're going to work on today. So if you don't have that house built, then go back out and get uh, to that Mushroom House Tutorial video and build the house. And then come on back to the second video, the decoration video. Okay, so let's look inside. Well, let's look around and see what we're going to be doing today on this video. So the outside doesn't really have a lot of decorations. We've just got really kind of like these cauldron planters in the corners. And I'm probably going to put the cauldron planters in the back corners too, just to make it symmetrical. And then we've just got to add these little lanterns on the roof. Then we're going to head inside and in the lobby area, we're just going to add some more planters in different fashions and some rose bushes and leaves to look like bushes. And of course, some lanterns for lighting. Let's head up to the living area. And then we're going to work on the kitchen. And I did do something a little bit different with this kitchen, which I'm going to show you in the video. In the original video, this part was all closed up. It just had like the red mushroom block in it. But I wanted to be able to utilize these countertops and make it look a little cuter. So I just, you know, broke the mushroom block so that you could see the tops of these counters and added a little window and some candles and a lantern. Um, so you can do whatever you want. You can leave it like the original or if you want to do this little window here, then I'll be showing you how to do that today. Over here, we've got the bedroom area. Nice big bed. We've got a corner with the little reading nook, lots of bookshelves, lanterns, and then a carpet in between here and the little enchanting area. So, oh, and we're also going to add this long chandelier type light for lighting. So let's head over to the other one and get started. Well, first we're going to do the material list. So let's head on over here to the materials and then we'll get started. Okay, so what you're going to need, and I did accidentally add some things in with that we needed for the kitchen in the last video um, that we didn't end up using because I didn't do the kitchen counters. So I'm going to re-add those in with this material list. So we're going to start with the birch planks, birch fence. We're going to need a birch trap door for the dishwasher, pink concrete, block of quartz, quartz slab, quartz stairs. Of course, you can pause this video if you need to get all the materials together. We're going to do a lot of lanterns some end rods, sea lantern, we've got an enchanting table, a brewing station for the kitchen, we're going to need a cauldron, and also we're going to need a water bucket to go inside the cauldron, and then also light blue dye to make the water this pretty blue color. Otherwise, it tends to look just dark in there. So if you add the light blue dye, it looks like a pretty watercolor. We got a furnace, bookshelves, we need a couple pink beds or any color bed depending on what color you want to make your bed. You could switch out any of these materials with anything you like better. We're going to need item frames for the pictures in the house and a couple plates in the kitchen. I've got this chest that has things in it that are mainly things that are going to go in the item frames and a couple other things. So we've got melon, sweet berries, of course that water bucket I was talking about, red mushroom, warped fungus, cake, oops, cookie. We're gonna need a potion of healing. These, like I said, are just going in the item frames as decorations, but potion of healing, splash water bottle, lingering water bottle, Potion of Leaping, just because I like the little kind of greenish color. Tripwire hook's going to go on top of the cauldron for a faucet. 
And then if you want to make that little window in the kitchen, we're going to use the white stained glass pane, uh, white candles, once again, any color candles you want, really, and then flint and steel to light the candles. We are going to need pink carpet and white carpet, flower pot, grass block. We're going to need a spruce trap door or more than one, but we're going to need spruce trap doors. Flowering azaleas, oak leaves, rose bushes, and a composter. So what we're going to start with is the outside. So let's just start with these lanterns on the top of the roof, or the hanging from the roof, the bottom of the roof. So you're just going to want to go to this corner and go in one. And then you're going to place your lantern right there. And you're going to do the same thing on every other corner. Corner, in one. Place that lantern. And then come to the back, facing the back. Same thing. Here's the corner. We're going to go in one. And head over to the last corner. In one. Place that lantern. Uh, since we're back here, we might as well just place those cauldrons for the flowering azalea bushes in each corner. And then get those flowering azaleas, or flowered azaleas, sorry. Uh, one thing about the cauldrons is you can't just place on top of the cauldron, so what you're going to have to do is just build a couple azaleas up and then attach it to that one. And then you can just break those, and then you've got your bush right there. Do the same thing in this one. Yeah, sometimes you just need to find little workarounds to add things on top of the things you want. There's a couple of instances in this video that we're going to need to do that. Attach it there. One more, and we've got it done. So let's come look at it. I think it looks neat. I mean, it's kind of simple, uh, but sometimes I like simple. I like simple and symmetrical. So now let's go inside the lobby. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and directly in the middle block because we have one, two, three, four, five across. In that third block, which is the middle block, just place a grass block. And then the same thing if you turn left which is to the left side of the door in that middle space, that third space. One, two, three, place that grass block. Then we're going to get our spruce trap doors and we're going to place one and close it on each of the three exposed sides of this grass block. There we go. And the same thing on this grass block. We're just gonna place this spruce trap door and close it on each Oops, of the exposed sides. Okay, now we've got a cute little planter. And we're going to add the rose bushes to those. So there we go. So we can see a little better. I'm going to add a lantern at the top of this block, this ivy, or mossy cobblestone block, that one. And then this stair we're going to add there. And depending on how much light you want, you can either leave this guy here, or you can hang one from here. And there we go. Now we're going to get our composters. And we're going to put those in the corners. So one in this corner, one in this corner, and one in this corner. Can't do it in this corner because we have the stairs here. So the other three corners, we're going to place those composters. Then we're going to get our oak leaves. And this is another instance of where you just can't put the oak leaves on top because it's a composter. It's just going to compost it. So you're going to need to just target this back block to be able to start placing your oak leaves to make a couple little bushes. This one, you can add two there or you can make it a short one. If you don't want it touching the stairs, you could make it a short one. But I know on the other one I've got it like that. So I'm going to do that. So now we have our little lobby area done, I believe. 
We're going to work our way up the stairs. And we're going to start with the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and get my birch planks out. Put that in there. And I'm going to need my birch fence. I'm going to need birch trapdoor. And that's what I'm going to do for now. Actually, no, I'm going to get my white stained glass pane out to the stuff I'm going to need for that um, for that window. And I'm going to get my end rod down here because I want to put that big light in the middle first so that I can see. Okay, so before we start in the kitchen, you're going to look up at the very center of this mushroom house. This, there's one little block up here that's open at the top of the roof. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an end rod and then we're going to add seven more end, ro end rods on top of it. So it'll be a total of eight end rods. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on the bottom of that eighth end rod we're going to add our sea lantern so it looks like it's a light just hanging down from the ceiling. All right. So now I'm just going to add these. I'm going to, in this corner, I'm going to put a birch plank. And then I'm going to put one, two, three more birch planks, I believe. Let's see. And I'm going to fill this area in with one, two, three, four, five birch planks. And in the front, I'm actually going to need, I'm gonna need that cauldron and I'm going to need that furnace for the oven. And I thought I had that in my inventory, but it doesn't look like I do. So I'm just gonna to try to quickly grab it. And here we go, furnace, put that over here. Okay, so I'm gonna add my furnace, then I'm gonna add my cauldron and I am going to now put three birch planks there. Okay, so we have those three. And then when I come around to this side, I'm going to put another one, two, three birch planks here. I am going to now come around and have two more birch planks and I am going to add one more birch plank there. Okay, so I believe that that is correct. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to break these guys and I'm going to put, whoops, I'm going to need the red mushroom block because I need to be able to put those windows in. So, as I find my red mushroom block, put it there. I am going to go outside and look uh, at the window for the other one just to make sure I get this mushroom block right. First, let me fly up here and see what I got going on. Okay. So outer, we have one block here, and then we have three up top and another one. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is when I'm outside, I am going to put one red mushroom block right here. And then up and to the right, I'm going to put one, two, three more mushroom blocks. And then down and to the right on this one, I'm gonna add another mushroom block and then I'm gonna add three white stained glass paint in. And I think it looks pretty cute. I don't think it messes anything up and I like having a little more light in the kitchen up there. So let's head back up and that looks nice. Alright and on this center 
uh, birch plank here. We're going to add a birch trap door and close it so it kind of just looks like a little uh, dishwasher. Okay. I think I'm going to then add the stools. So we've got in this center part right here, the center block number three, or number <laughs> two in the middle. Um, we're going to have a space here, and then we're going to put a birch fence post. And then we're going to stand behind it and put a birch trap door like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a birch plank down. I'm going to stand behind it and put another birch trap door. And then I'm going to close that door and break this plank. Because then it will look like a little stool. Because you can't just put the trap door on the other trap door. You're going to have to have something to attach it to. So that's why I put that birch plank down. And now over here on this one, two, this second one, I'm going to put a space and then put a birch fence post and do the same thing here. Put a birch trap door and then put a birch plank, birch trap door, close it, break this plank. So now we've got two stools here. Okay. While I'm thinking of it, I think I'm going to go ahead and... No, I might add the water later. I might do that later. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is add this enchanting table over here. I'm going to go ahead and add the item frames and the little decorations uh, along the top at the end just so that I can do them all at once. So now I'm going to come over to this enchanting area and just not in the corner underneath this level but one out in this corner here I'm going to add this enchanting table. And then I'm going to adjust these lanterns. So not in the very corner but on each side of that corner, we're going to put a couple of lanterns. And then we're going to come over to the side with the bed. The bed, depending on what color bed you want, um, you're going to need birch. Or you're not going to need birch, unless you're going to do birch. You're going to need pink concrete. You're going to need... Uh, the quartz slabs and you're definitely going to need those pink beds or whatever color bed you want so let's go ahead and do that so for these beds for, for this bed you are going to come you're going to count in from the, the, the side here one two leave two spaces empty one space two space and on this side as well you're going to leave one space two space empty so that's one two and then one two so right here is where you're going to put the pink concrete that's where you're going to start the bed so you're going to have two empty spaces on this side and then you're going to have two empty spaces on this side so facing this way you're going to skip two blocks Put another pink concrete, come this way, skip two blocks, pink concrete, skip two blocks, pink concrete. Then along the edges, in between the pink blocks, you're going to put some quartz slab. And then you are going to add your pink beds in the middle there. Then, since it's like a canopy bed, you're going to have two end rods on top of each other on each pink concrete. One, two, and one, two. And then you're going to add on top of those end rods another pink concrete on each corner of the bed. And then you're going to add 
quartz slab. You can either do that here or you can do it here. And then you just fill the whole thing in. Just fill in the entire top with quartz slabs. And you've got your nice big bed. Bed part was the easiest. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the reading nook and you're going to have, let me get, uh, let me get some more of this stuff down here so I can make sure I'm going to definitely need the bookshelves now. Okay. Here we go. So you're going to need one, two, three empty spaces before you start your bookshelves in the corner. And the chair is actually going to be here too. So you're going to have one, two, three, three empty spaces. One, two, three. And then you're going to start the sh shelves and the chair. So let's just go ahead and continue with the shelves. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five. You can stick one in the corner. You're not going to see it, but you can stick it there anyway just to have it filled in. So we've got one, two, three three, four, five bookshelves on this bottom here. We're going to do the same thing along this edge. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five bookshelves. Now along this next level where you can hang some bookshelves, stick that there, um, you're going to have one in the corner and then you're going to kind of line it up with these. So you're going to have the one, two, three, four, I'm going to have four there, let's see, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to add another bookshelf here because you're not going to see that one in the corner once again. So you're going to have one, two, three, four bookshelves on this side, one, two, three, four bookshelves on this side, and it's going to line up with the bottom. So you're going to have five on the very bottom, four on the top. Okay. So we're also, we're going to have this chair. And to do the chair, what we're going to do is we're going to have two quartz slabs here. No, not quartz slabs. You're going to have two blocks of quartz here. You're going to have two quartz slabs on the very top of that. And then you're going to need your quartz stairs. And you're going to face each other. So you're going to put a quartz stair down like this. And then on this side, you're going to face this way and have a quartz stair here. So it looks like since they're facing each other, it looks like a very big giant comfy armchair and we're definitely going to put some lanterns on the ends of these bookshelves and I'm thinking I might have had oh yeah might have had on either side of the corner here I think I have lanterns here so oops I'm crouching <laughs> all right and then we've got one up in this corner so we've got lanterns yeah do we let's just go take a peek at that other one and make sure I'm getting these lanterns right do 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 Head on over. All right, let's look at this reading corner. Okay, I see now. So we have a lantern, one in the corner, lantern, and then, oh yeah, I forgot I had all these over here. I've got three, three, two, two, and one. Oh, yeah, I like that better. So I'm gonna head over and do that. I really love these cute lanterns. 
I like the blue ones too, but for some reason the orange ones just seem brighter to me anyway. So let's fix that. Okay. So on this level I have the ends and I've got one in the corner. And then on this one, I don't have one in the corner, I think. I have one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we're skipping one. We're not putting one in this corner here. We're putting one next to the corner, but then we're skipping one, lantern. Skipping one, lantern. Same thing on the other side. Nothing in the corner one next to it, skipping one, lantern, skipping one, and lantern. And the next one, we don't have one in the corner, but we have one here. We skip one, and we have one here. Put one next to the corner, skip one here, and then the next one up is just one single one. So, no corner, one next to the corner, skip one, and lantern lantern skip lantern the very last one I just put it in the corner so hopefully that will help yeah I do like that better okay now we can move on to the rug we're gonna do pink carpet and white carpet and so right at this bookshelf right catty corner it so it's like one next to it and then out one we're gonna put a pink carpet skip one put a pink carpet then of course we're gonna put one here next row we're gonna have one on each side of pink next row we're gonna have one here pink pink One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the last one, right here. So it's it's a three by six rug. Rug. It's one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five, six. So all the squares we didn't fill in, we're going to fill in with the white carpet. Okay. So there we have our rug. Okay. Um, now I think I should probably do the item frames before I forget about those where they're placed at least. So I'm going to grab my item frames and bring them down here. I'm going to grab a few of the things I need for the item frames, which are the, you know, red mushroom, the warped fungus. Uh, I'm going to need the potions to put in there potion alright come on potion and the last potion okay alright got those potions and the item frames so I'm gonna place the item frames in this way I'm going to have one here and one here on the other side one next to that bookshelf and down I don't know why I just placed an item frame in an item frame but I didn't mean to do that um, by the enchanting table actually I think I did this the opposite I put the first one next to the lantern and then one up and to the left of that and then yes this side I put one next to the lantern one up and to the right for that okay over here I think is where I did the opposite I had this one up top down and to the right same thing here next to this lantern to the left item frame down into the left item frame and then here I know I have a plate item frame and another plate item frame just to look like people are eating things and then I had 
each one of these up above here. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it in the middle. What did I do? I put maybe like this and maybe like this. Maybe I had it one over. Okay. After after I do these item frames, I'm going to go take a peek at that other one just to make sure I've got those in the right spot. So over here, by the reading nook, what I had in the lower one was a warped fungus. And this same one over here, a warped fungus. And then in the top ones, I just have a red mushroom. So that, oh no, 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 that's not true. I had the warped fungus and then I had an enchanted book. So let me see if that's in my inventory or if it is in the, nope, I don't think it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this water bucket down also and this faucet and I'm going to finish the kitchen up real quick before I put those enchanted books over there because I think they're in the chest downstairs. All right, so I'm going to put my tripwire hook right above the cauldron for the sink. I'm going to put the water in there and you see how it just looks you can't even tell there's water in there because it's so dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that blue dye and put that in there. So or it's light blue dye because that makes it look like a prettier watercolor than just regular blue dye. So here we go. We've got light blue dye that we're going to put right here. And once I put that in there, you see how the water changes to a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Then to the, le uh, to the right of the sink, I'm going to put a brewing station. It's kind of like a little coffee, coffee pot area. <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to get those enchanted books for these item frames. All right, put this here. Don't need this anymore. Oh, there's that die. I'm going to need this for the plate and yeah, that's what I'm going to do for right now. So let me go back upstairs and in the reading nook where, where I've got these warp fungus here. Up and to the left, I'm going to put the enchanted book. And over in this corner, also enchanted book. Now over here is where I put the potions in the item frames. So I'm going to start with my potion of healing and put it right here this cute little pink bottle then I'm going to have a splash water bottle up here on this corner I'm going to have the lingering water bottle here and then down at the bottom we're gonna put this potion of leaping so there we have our enchanting area I know that I put sweet berries here. So I'm going to put these sweet berries here. It's like you're eating some berries. I'm going to bring these this flower pot down here. And is there anything else? I can put these candles down here. Flint and steel down here. Okay. Okay. In this corner, I'm going to put the little flower pot. And in this corner, I'm going to put a little flower pot and I'm going to put those red mushrooms that I had thought went in those frames in these little pots. Cute little plants. Um, over here in the corner is where I put the candles. And if you hit one time, it'll bring up one candle, two, three, four. So you've got all different size candles over here. So you can do however many you want, up one up to four. Because if you try to add after this, there's no more room. And if you would like to light them, you just click them with your flint and steel. And there you go. You've got lit candles that add a little bit more light in there. 
so I'm gonna go look at the other kitchen for those item frames just to see exactly what I did there. Okay, I did leave a space here and then I did three. So we got cake, melon, and cookie. And over here, I was pretty sure we had a melon. Yep. Lantern on top of the dishwasher. Lanterns in the corners. Lantern. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. We are almost finished with decorating this mushroom house. And I am super excited. All right. Let's look in this chest because I'm pretty sure I have yep I need the melon I need the cake and I need that cookie whoops cookie okay now I'm gonna head back upstairs all right so I'm gonna put a lantern on right here and I'm gonna put this melon over on this item frame and if you want to move it a different way you just keep clicking it just will turn it I think I'm gonna leave it like this okay same thing with the berries you keep clicking it it will just turn to have face whichever way you want all right so we're at the kitchen and now I was right I left a spot in the corner and I put an item frame one up there one down there same thing this side leave a space one at the bottom one at the top one at the bottom okay so I had a cake here a cake here a melon up top here a melon up top and then I had a cookie and a cookie. So cake, melon, cookie. And then I'm going to put the lanterns here, here, and in that corner. So we've got it all lit up. I'm going to get rid of that lantern. I can even put a little lantern up here in the corner. I just like things symmetrical. For some reason it bothers me if they're not and i think we are done we have got everything done we've got our kitchen area finished with our two stools we've got our oven over here our sink our dishwasher we've got our enchanting area with just the enchanting table cup of decorations we've got our rug reading nook chair and a lot of bookshelves and this bed in the corner and that'll do it so thank you so much for tuning into this video of our decoration of the mushroom house and we hope that you will tune in again please please like and subscribe to this channel um, it will motivate me to make more videos because I really like making these videos and over here, just for a little sneak peek, is a little house I'm working on. It's not finished, finished yet, but hey, tune in. And I don't know if this is going to be the next build or it's definitely going to be a future build. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.